Okay, good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. All right. I'm Greg Spots, SDOT Director, and I'm, I'm thrilled to begin work on one of SDOT's largest and most complex construction projects, the East Marginal Way Corridor Improvement Project. This holistic, multi-benefit project is the result of years of thoughtful collaboration across industry, freight, the port, the railroads, and our bike community, and involves funding from a variety of partners. This project exemplifies the collaborative values of One Seattle, and I'm honored to introduce the mayor of Seattle, Bruce Harrell. Thank you, Greg. Thank you. Tess. Tess, okie dokie, just one sec here. We're gonna wait for just a little more noise before I get started here. I'm very excited today. Thank you for that introduction, Greg Spots, about this project that we're gonna talk about a little bit here. You're gonna hear from some speakers. Let me do what I was probably most important, and that is to give some thanks to some incredible partners in this work that we're doing. You're gonna hear from uh, Ralph Rizzo, the uh, State Division Administrator for FHA, Federal Highway Administration, Jerry Poor from the Port of Seattle, who also serves as a member of the Seattle Freight Advisory Board. Uh, Ann Goodman is here for all the leadership she does in our Soto area. Uh, basically, this project that we are describing today, this East Marginal Way project, sort of begs the question of how do we integrate in a transportation system, freight mobility, economic development, bike safety, pedestrian safety, how do we put it all together to make sure we have a smart and intelligent and climate friendly ecosystem of transportation and that's why I'm very excited to bring together in a collaborative way all the partners to make this project work. This project will enhance safety and connectivity for all the users whether you're a freight driver getting uh, to and from the port or a cyclist coming off of the West Seattle Bridge Trail this project will stimulate economic growth which is very important uh, in ensuring reliable access for businesses and industries re reliant on this critical corridor here in Seattle. Yes. This project is divided into north, central, and south segment, each with its own schedule. Uh, this particular event is for the north segment. This project shows that we can go farther together and is, a, is the result of a collaborative spirit with the key stakeholders, including our labor partners, our maritime community, governmental officials, freight, and our biking advocates. Funding partners include the Port of Seattle, Washington State, the Federal Highway Administration, and the U.S. Department of Transportation. Key advocates uh, include U.S. Senators Maria Cantwell and Patty Murray, Representatives Pramila Jayapal and Adam Smith, and many others. And I had the opportunity over the weekend to uh, communicate with Pramila and Adam. And Again, the fed our federal partnership could not be in better form right now, and I think many of you are reading about some of the tremendous gains we are making with this leadership, this federal uh, leadership that we have. We are designating infrastructure to meet the diverse transportation needs of our community. And as many of you know that, uh, know this area, East Marginal Way South is a designated heavy haul route, the critical last mile connector and vital route for oversized trucks or those carrying uh, flammable cargo and, and quite candidly I mean some of you might have questioned the logistics of putting this microphone right here we thought the visual is pretty strong of what we're trying to do even though it could get a little noisy this is a major connection for our bikes between West Seattle downtown and Soto and I can't think enough our cyclists at, uh, organizations and advocates here joining with us today this project will improve safety through the separation of people walking and biking from vehicle traffic, benefiting everyone who used this corridor. Uh, as many of you know, this project was one of many supported by the voter proof 2015 levy to move Seattle. $7.1 million for this project, re reflecting the importance to the regional economy, our local job creation and connection between West Seattle, Soto, and of course, downtown. Yes, so as we, yes, thank you. Thanks for the affirmation, I appreciate that. 
So as we prepare to unveil our upcoming transportation levy renewal process, one of our main focuses has remained has been to ensure we have a robust, interconnected, and safe freight network. But by prioritizing this project, we're investing in a more resilient and sustainable future for Seattle, supporting our city's continued growth and prosperity. Signal improvements and intelligent transportation systems will make it more efficient by reducing idling, idling in traffic, which we know is critically important, reducing our carbon emissions, and protecting our air quality. And of course, reconstructing the pavement to higher standards is an important part of the transition to electric trucks, which we know uh, are just simply heavier. Uh, this week will also sort of describe this, this project in the context of our upcoming levy. And you'll see conceptually that we're building around the concentric circles of having a safer, more reliable and better connected transportation system that works for all modes of travel. Again, that's why I want to thank the bicycle organizations and advocates here, because here in Seattle, we find a way through our collaborative spirits of our investors to make sure that we have a safe system. We lead with safety. The biggest investments will be in improving and repaving our streets and bridges to ensure that they are in good condition to keep people and goods moving efficiently. So you'll hear this theme not only today, but for upcoming levy that we are incredibly excited about. So next, you'll, I'll reintroduce uh, Greg Spots, the director of SDOT, to take us through our, pro, our presentation today. And thank you very much for being here. One Seattle. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you so much, Mayor Harrell, for your leadership and your support of our department and this incredible project. The East. Marginal Way Corridor Improvement Project is grounded in many of the values articulated in our recently released Seattle Transportation Plan, enhancing safety, mobility, and economic vitality along this regionally significant waterside corridor. As we maintain and modernize East Marginal Way, we're creating a multimodal street where trucks and bikes can travel safely in their own separate spaces. In the process, we're upgrading the roadway to handle heavy freight, replacing underground water lines, and collaborating with rail to better share the limited space along this essential north-south corridor. Our project embraces the challenge of redesigning the street to serve multiple purposes, enhancing a vital freight corridor while creating safe and attractive pathways for people walking and biking. The result will be a street that can get a shipping container to its next destination and a cyclist from West Seattle to Soto to downtown and beyond. A few key elements of the project include upgraded signals and way in motion technology to improve access to port and industrial areas, improving, ensuring seamless movement of goods, concrete barrier protected bike lanes and bike signal equipped crossings to manage our bike freight interactions along the corridor, creating safer connections and more attractive routes for people walking and biking. I'd like to call out our partnerships with the Port of Seattle, federal and state transportation agencies, the freight community and the bike community who made this project a success and demonstrate that we can activate our streets to safely churn, uh, serve all modes of travel. I'd like to just uh, recognize all of our SDOT staff. If you're from SDOT, please raise your hand. Thank you all so very much. It takes a village to pull together a very large and complex project like this. I want to recognize a few of our key leaders, uh, Capital Projects Division Director Julius Ramachanje, Project Manager Joey Aitken, Major Projects Manager Megan Hoyt, Construction Engineer Jeremy Wallerman, Project Engineer Nick Schrope, and Community Outreach Lead, uh, lead Drew Nihus. And now I'd like to introduce one of our key funding partners, Ralph Rizzo, Washington State Division Administrator for the Federal Highway Administration. Good morning. Um, in freight, we talked. In freight, we talk about the last mile, and I think we're here. Um, so thank you, Mayor Harrell and Director Spots for inviting us to join you today. 
and to all the partners gathered here that made this project a, a, a possibility and a reality. Thank you for being here and thank you for your support. On behalf of USDOT Secretary Buttigieg and FHWA Administrator Bat, uh, it's my pleasure to join you here today to celebrate this milestone in the East Marginal Way project. This project's a great example of some of the themes that are enshrined in the bipartisan infrastructure law. Improve safety by separating bicyclists and pedestrians from the heavy freight traffic. Uh, equity in maintaining and improving safe connections for all users from south, south and west Seattle into downtown. And economic vitality by making the, the uh, freight traffic flow more, more efficiently. I don't have to tell you how important the Port of Seattle is not only to the city and to the state, but to the country as a whole. And that's why USDOT made the federal investment in this project by awarding it a raise grant. Um, so let me congratulate you one more time on reaching this important milestone. It's uh, absolutely appropriate to celebrate starting construction on this project, but of course we still have a long way to go. Um, so I'd like to remind everyone to, uh, to be aware when you're driving through the construction zone look out for the workers and let's make sure that they get back to their families safely. Um, we look forward to working with you during construction and to gathering again for the ribbon cutting. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, our next speaker, Jerry Poor from the Port of Seattle, uh, is one of the first people I got to meet uh, in getting involved in uh, Seattle transportation. She was on the um, selection committee when uh, the mayor was doing a search for a new SDOT director. And uh, in my first month on the job in September 2022, she and other members of the port took me on a tour of this project. Uh, and at the time, I, I didn't think it would take quite this long to actually get a shovel in the ground. But in the meantime, we've been um, ordering supplies and uh, water pipes and, and all kinds of preparations to get ready. So now I'd like to introduce Senior Manager for Transportation at the Port of Seattle, Jerry Poor. Thank you. Testing, testing, good. <clears throat> Thank you, Mayor Harrell, for your ongoing support for the East Marginal Way Improvements Project, which sees the highest concentration of freight by volume and value in the state of Washington. This corridor parallels the Duwamish Waterway running the length of the Manufacturing Industrial Center through the core of our industrial jobs base. East Marginal Way provides access to the port-owned and Northwest Seaport Alliance operated terminals, to manufacturing, warehouse and commercial businesses, to freight rail yards serving international intermodal containers, and to the national heavy haul, excuse me, the national highway system at the crossroads of Interstate 5 and Interstate 90. This project also promotes diversity in transportation choices for commuters, effectively improving freight mobility as well as safety for cyclists and pedestrians who are often riding to and from downtown. Together, we have created a corridor where many modes of transportation can travel safely on this arterial which is appreciated because it is the flat and direct connection to downtown. A quick sidebar, at the south end of this corridor is the East Marginal Way grade separation, which had groundbreaking ceremonies over 20 years ago, involving many partners here today. Like this project, it was built on shared funding partnership, separating different modes and keeping goods moving. Just as we later celebrated ribbon cutting, we look forward to this project's completion in just a few years. In closing, this project supports freight loads by building it to heavy haul standards, promotes efficiency through signal modifications, intelligent transportation systems, and improved lighting, and most importantly, it improves safety by separating active transportation from vehicle traffic. Thank you all for your contributions to making this improvement project a reality. Thank you, Jerry. And and big thanks to the port for um, all of your uh, support and collaboration on this vital project. Uh, our next speaker is Aaron Goodman from the Soto Business Improvement Area. Uh, and Aaron really helps us at SDOT uh, as a bridge to the very complex ecosystem of businesses here in Soto. Um, we work with her on a large variety of different projects and um, we really appreciate uh, your collaboration, your leadership. Come on up, Aaron. 
Thank you, Greg. Good morning. As the Executive Director of the Soto Business Improvement Area, it is my pleasure to welcome you to Soto, the industrial heart of Seattle. Today's groundbreaking on the East Marginal Way Corridor Improvement Project is a significant milestone. East Marginal Way will soon be Soto's largest corridor designed for the safety and efficiency for all users and modes. This project symbolizes the city's commitment to ensuring maritime industry and freight have a place carved out in Soto and Seattle's future. Through this revitalization work, the city will continue to bring economic stability and vitality to people throughout Seattle and the central Puget Sound region. I want to express gratitude to our elected officials, to Mayor Harrell, to both local and federal, and to the agencies and advocates who have worked to make this project a reality. We look forward to seeing a revitalized and safer East Marginal Way in 2026. Thank you. Thank you, Erin. Our last speaker, did I just turn it off? There we go. Our last speaker is Don Brubeck, president and founder of West Seattle Bike Connections. And Don, um, we really appreciate your leadership and your advocacy. I think this project is a wonderful example of the type of collaboration we can have when we bring all stakeholders together uh, and figure out how a corridor can serve multiple purposes. So come on up, Don. Good morning, it's a great day and great to see so many uh, friends and colleagues who have worked on this project. Um, in 2012, uh, after a Cascade Advocacy Leadership course, uh, I got together with some people to start a group that we were going to call the Marginal Cyclists, if I had my way. Uh, but they prevailed. We became West Seattle Bike Connections. Um, to make it safer and comfortable for more people to commute to Soto and downtown from West Seattle. Um, we also may be the only bike advocacy group in the country that has freight mobility as one of our mission statements. Um, the project here really is a collaboration among a lot of parties who sometimes see themselves in opposition. Um, but we recognized our mutual interests in safety and connectivity and efficiency of movement and resilience for our seaport, for the jobs here, um, and worked really hard to uh, collaborate with respect, uh, find our mutual interests, arrive at a good design, uh, convince our elected officials, obtain funding from federal and state partners, and um, it's, a, it's a great example of what can happen when people are really working together uh, with respect. We've, uh, from our group, I'd like to thank uh, Paul Dieter and Jody Connolly, Bob Winship, Bob Anderton, Bob Weeks, Joe and Marlo Laubach, uh, Christine Wolf, Kate, <laughs> well, Christine Wolf from the Port of Seattle. Uh, and without, without Christine's work, I don't think this project would have happened either. And Jerry Poor, uh, Dong Ho Chang, uh, SDOT project managers, Megan Hoyt and Jessica Murphy, the entire Freight Advisory Board and the Bicycle Advisory Board, uh, Cascade Bicycle Club, Seattle Neighborhood Greenways, Mayors McGinn, Murray, Durkin, and Harrell, and uh, Council Members Rasmussen, O'Brien, and Herbal, uh, and the, the drage truck drivers here who've been so careful of, uh, of our needs for safety and, uh, and making it home safety, safely at the end of the day. Thank you. Well, that's the end of our official program. Um, Jamie, do you want to come up and call in a few people for questions and then uh, then we'll get to our golden shovel moment. Any 
questions. Yep, Brian. Thank you. The question is mentioning that um, uh, we have a lot of uh, traffic collisions in Soho and how are we looking at safety more broadly. You know, I think this project, the East Marginal Way project, can be a template for future projects in Soto. Uh, it, it's one of the reasons uh, why we ended up putting out a holistic Seattle transportation plan that aligns all the different modes together in a single plan, whereas previously we had a bike plan and a separate freight plan and a separate pedestrian plan and a separate transit plan. Now we're bringing forward uh, for possible an action by the council, an integrated plan, and we hope to bring uh, integrated approaches to large and small projects so that we can uh, balance uh, safely all the different users uh, that are passing through uh, Soto and going to important destinations here. This project uh, has a lot of very complex elements uh, that had to be um, organized before we could actually put a shovel in the ground. Uh, one of them was uh, beyond the bid and award process, we were continuing to negotiate uh, various uh, agreements with the railroads uh, because we're interacting with the rail along the project. Uh, and we had to um, order a very large amount of seismically resilient water pipe and uh, with uh, Buy America um, regulations, because we have federal funding, we had to source uh, all of these uh, modern pipes uh, from American suppliers. And you can actually see some of the pipe over there. Uh, it's very interesting. Um, this pipe provides a flexible connection so that in an earthquake event, instead of breaking, the pipe actually can flex. And I think that's a really uh, important improvement that was worth the wait. Any other questions? Yep. Mayor, um, transportation generally. Uh, expect another transportation levy later this year. Where are we in the process of how much the ask is going to be, where that money is going to go, and what you say to voters who said the last transportation levy didn't do everything it was supposed to do, so why are we being asked to pay Sure, the question for those who didn't hear is basically about the transportation levy. So this Thursday, a couple of days, we will present to the council, we'll unveil our plan. And so what I want to say, actually in response to one of the earlier questions is, the lens by which I'm asking my transportation department to do is sort of threefold. Number one is these are capital projects. This is a $7.1 million project designed to look at what physically must we change. You'll also see in the, the upcoming levy that I will always ask about technology. What technology, what, 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 what are best practices with respect to how we can navigate through this marriage between freight and cyclists and pedestrians and new forms of transportation. And then thirdly, we look at past assumptions. The fact of the matter is the transportation world has changed. Vehicles are heavier, as I mentioned, as we convert to electric, uh, trucks and other types of transportation modes of transportation the fact of the matter is, is that we are encouraging because of our environmental sustainability uh, commitment more uh, electric scooter types of vehicles and bikes so our assumptions 10 15 years ago have changed and this is a good thing so as we look at our transportation levy we'll build it around three circles safety number one safety for everybody that are moving from a to b Reliability, we have, we know the issues, particularly if you look at just what happened in Baltimore, while that was not a natural disaster, that begs the question about our bridge, our bridge structures here in Seattle. So you talk about a reliability in our, 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 our bridge maintenance and the other types of issues there. And then connectivity, this begs the question, this particular East Marginal Way project begs the question about how we are connecting our ecosystem. When we're asking cyclists to get out of your car and stop relying on fossil fuel to get from A to B, but we still have to move cargo. How are we connecting with one another? So I'm not going to uh, disclose the, the 
the value of the ask at this point, but I will say, and I want to applaud my uh, some of the folks standing with me right here and in the audience. For the last year, we've been working with the stakeholders. We realized there could be competing interests on dollars. Now, through Secretary Buttigieg and, and, and our highway partners, I always slaughter Pete's name. So, sorry, Pete, if you're listening to this. Um, and I actually spoke with them a couple of weeks ago that our federal partners are, have, in unprecedented terms, are helping us with some of our capital needs. But our, our SDOT department, under the strong leadership we have, has been working with stakeholders. We are hearing them out. And so Thursday, the process continues. We are not purporting that this is the end all package. We are, uh, through the work we've done, working with stakeholders, the interconnectivity, the reliability factors that we want to put into this levy. We've been working with the stakeholders. We'll present it Thursday, and then the council will take it from there, and we'll still be with them, lock, step, and barrel along the way. And that, oh, I got a applause line on that. We're excited, and I have to say, we're excited about this levy because I think that the people in Seattle realize when you talked about some of the accidents, the fatalities we've had, when we talk about public safety, it's just not some of the, the, the criminal element that we see in, in major cities across this country. Public safety has to do with someone who's walking or riding a bike and they are, they are struck, they are, they are injured. Public safety in all of its forms should be a unifying element for this city. It crosses socioeconomic levels, it crosses race. We go all throughout the city, in fact, I'm almost excited to re reveal a few things, but I'll say even in, in on the south end of Seattle, we looked very uh, uh, granularly at the uh, structure there and what capital imp investments we need to make. So we're very proud of the package that we are presenting Thursday. And again, the, con the discussion continues. Dare I say the negotiations continues, but that's sort of how this, this plays out. And we're confident that the voters will support us and we'll have a good levy passed. And with that, I think we're going to conclude this. Thank you for coming, and we're excited about this project. And let's let's move some dirt here.